Hey guys, got a pretty good haul from a local theatre that's being demolished. Uh, this is from the uh, famous player's Station Square, which is in a building that's being demolished to make way for for uh, office towers and condos. Uh, got a whole rack uh, of Hafler DH500 amplifiers, six of them. Uh, these are two channel, 255 watt per channel amps. I uh, got two lamp houses, 2.5 kilowatt small one, a large one that I think it handle up to 5 kilowatt. That'll probably replace this big thing because I really uh, can't, this is too big to keep here. It takes up way too much space. It's like having a fridge. So that'll be a nice, much uh, smaller lamp house. Uh, 2.5 kilowatt ballast to go with this, although I don't have a bulb for it. And for a previous haul, uh, 14 ETC Source 4 uh, stage lights. These will be good for high speed filming. Probably keep a couple of them for that and uh, sell off the rest. These amps basically have no controls on them, just a power switch. They're always on at uh, full volume. They just have two single, two inputs and two outputs. Let's uh, crack this open and see what's inside. Probably be pretty old school because these were uh, designed in the late 70s, I think. Ooh, these are old school. Yep, there's not much in this. Just a giant mains transformer, a bridge rectifier, filter caps for these. 20,000 microfarad, 100 volt. All point to part wiring. Uh, output relay. It's like two discrete separate output channels, one on each side. And an AC fan. Some sort of board here, maybe this is a timer to time the relay or something. I've already tested this entire stack and they all work, although the same as some of the output terminals are loose, so uh, I have to open them all up and check them. Probably blow all the dust out too. According to the specs, this fan is uh, multi-speed. I think what they're doing uh, under this, uh, you probably can't really see them, but they have thermal switches and I think those short out uh, resistors these resistors to uh, adjust the fan speed so as the temperature goes up, the contacts close, shorting out resistors uh, that increases the voltage applied to the motor. It's quite ingenious. And more point-to-point -point wiring in here. These lamps were used to light up the speakers behind the screen in the IMAX theater. Uh, this was to show the audience what the speakers looked like before the show. I don't think they do this anymore, that's why they've got rid of these lamps, but you may have, uh, you may remember it if you saw an IMAX show in the past. These are the ETC Source 4 spotlights. These use 575 watt uh, HPL incandescent lamps. Uh, I'm sure see that if I pull the cover off. Yeah, pretty big, good sized lamp there glass reflector. Um, let's see, little, these things can adjust the uh, pattern of the beam. You can make squares and diamonds and shapes. The focus is adjustable by moving this uh, front piece back and forth. These ones have uh, 19 degree uh, beam lenses. The reflector in there focuses the light onto this uh, surface where you can these shutters can be put in, or you can put uh, different shapes, you can project patterns, um, and you probably put color filters in there too, or uh, on the end of this, and there's, there's, there's multiple positions, uh, lenses can be installed in these for different uh, themes, this one of uh, 36 degrees uh, in there for this one. These are going to be pretty nice for high-speed videos. They shine a pretty reasonably small spot, but very high intensity quite far. So I can keep the lights quite uh, far away from the bad stuff that happens that you're usually filming with a high-speed camera. Here's the 2.5 kilowatt lamp house. Uh, pretty simple inside. Just a reflector, a fan, um, and an igniter for the lamp. Um, See, so the lamp supported by this end and here, and there would be a wire running to the other uh, connection.
connection there. Uh, the reflector seems to be made out of steel because of the mag that attracts to it. It must be plated with uh, aluminum or some sort of coating because that's sort of more reflective than uh, steel would be, I think. It's in pretty good condition except for some uh, abrasions over there. Um, cooling for the lamp is done similar to uh, that unit over there. This fan pressurizes, the air comes out of this and pressurizes this section and the air has to go through this small hole and is blown over the lamp bulb. Very simple controls, just auto manual and on off. Uh, voltage and current meter and an hour meter with, with, with 48,000 hours. And this same style of uh, thing as on the other unit to uh, align and focus the lamp. What is the rating on this? It's a strong Super Lumex, 30 volts, 85 amps, and it needs 120 volts, 2.2 amps as well. And here is the higher power lamp house. Um, this one is a strong Super 80. This one's rated uh, 29 to 49 volts DC, 90 to 160 amps. And again, 115 volts, 2.5 amps. And the same switches, just spread out a bit more. So this one's good up to 7,000 watts and 53,000 hours on the hour counter. And on the inside, it's exactly the same thing, just bigger. Uh, all the electronics, they've shielded them, I guess, from the UV light. Except for these, these the installations seemingly yeah, breaking down on those. Uh, yeah, it looks like the same or similar igniter. Bigger fan. And the reflector is also steel on this one. And they also have a piece of glass. I think it's to reflect uh, infrared light so the uh, film doesn't get quite so hot. And here's the other side of the fan for those who want to see it. I also got this uh, fan off one of the projectors, which has the cutest little three phase motor I've ever seen. Um, very solid cast aluminum. They built them as well back then. And they even put an air filter on it. Um, let's see if we can see in there. Yeah, it's a typical radio flow fan. This off of one of the ballasts. One of the big uh, iron core ballasts. And this giant fan blade, which I can only assume is out of the ventilation system that was uh, cooling the projectors. It's a huge, probably one inch or uh, one and an eighth inch shaft. It's a, it's this Revcore UA KH2604-38. Let's see if I can find any info on this. Anyway, hope you found this video on these uh, lamp houses and amplifiers interesting. Thanks for watching.